All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this next segment. This might be the final segment in this installation, and then afterwards I'll show you guys some depictions of pictures and videos, maybe you name it. In this video, I want to, or in this segment, I want to talk about the Grail, the fountain. The fountain is a symbol of the Kundalini. The fountain is a self-regenerating system. Water flows through it. It goes back into a, uh, a a collection of water, and then it gets pumped back through the system. The fountain and the grail are very profound symbols, ladies and gentlemen, because they lead you to very specific understandings. The human body is the chalice. It is the fountain of youth. It is the holy grail. You see, for the longest time, we've been programmed to look outside of ourselves for divinity instead of looking inward. And this is really why I wanted to bring the grail up in the fountain again, even though we talked about it in the first segment. There's a huge schism between our rational... We, we have this issue here in the matrix where we've been programmed for so long to look outside of ourselves for divinity that we never spend any time looking inward. And if we looked inward more than we look outward, I think that we'd come to huge just radical realizations, ladies and gentlemen, about how divine we actually are. You see, mainstream religion has taught us that there's an entity outside of ourselves that's constantly looking at us and judging all of our actions. And instead of us using our own moral code that we've developed by going inward to gauge what is right and wrong, we fear some predatory entity out in the ether somewhere that's invisible, that never presents itself to us, and we do things that we think it wants us to do so that hopefully we can get to the pearly gates when we die. It's an absolute ridiculous model. It needs to, it needs to, it, e it either needs to pass on or it needs to evolve. Divinity is within you, ladies and gentlemen. The true living God is within you. Even the Bible admits that when it says that ye are, you are created in the image of the Creator. That means that you are a walking little Creator. We were all designed to be little Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen. If you look into the research of a researcher named Bobby Hemet, he goes on in one of his amazing lectures to talk about how the words, the, the name Jesus Christ can be broken down to body and spirit. Jesus means body, Christ means spirit. That means body anointed with spirit. Was it not Jesus who told, that said, that ye shall perform miracles greater than I? That means that we have the ability to wake up what he had woken up that made him the enlightened healer that he was, ladies and gentlemen. We can all be Jesus Christ, body anointed with spirit. Kundalini moves through our body, and that's the spirit that animates our body. And when the Kundalini animates our body with spirit, we become the walking holy grail. We become the walking fountain of youth that is contained within in a series, a set of energy known as an aura, a merkaba. And in, next, in, this, in the next installment of this series, I'm going to be talking about the Merkaba because the Merkaba has been mentioned hundreds of times throughout religious texts, ladies and gentlemen, and it, has directly, it is directly tied to the Kundalini energy. In fact, the true path to waking up the Merkaba is to wake up the Kundalini energy, ladies and gentlemen. And it's done through the tip of the tongue. That is an occult secret that nobody is talking about. And that is one of the ways that I know a lot of the people preaching all this spirituality are full of shit. One of the direct pathways into opening up, not only waking up Kundalini, but waking up the Merkaba so that it's actually visible around you and, and you know, active, is through the tip of your tongue. I don't really want to get into that in this video. I've talked about it extensively in previous videos, but there are mechanisms when the Kundalini starts to awaken that take over the, uh, the motor um, control over your tongue. Your tongue starts to perform yoga uncontrollably and it rubs specific meridian points within your mouth that are connected to your brain. This is why there's so much symbolism, ladies and gentlemen, in the, the serpent's tongue. A lot of people aren't aware of the fact that there is deep symbolism in the hissing of snakes. The serpent's tongue represents the kundalini taking over the motor skills of your tongue when the kundalini starts moving through your body. You see, certain mechanisms t take place when you awaken kundalini or when it awakens within you that take over control of your body. And this is one of the reasons why this divine energy has been misregarded by the unconscious masses as being a form of possession. Your muscles, 
might start twitching uncontrollably as they lock into new and foreign installations in different uh, positions. Your spine might, might gyrate uncontrollably. Your head might shake uncontrollably. Your arms might shake uncontrollably. You might feel motivated or your mouth just might open and your tongue might stick out. You might lock yourself into spontaneous yoga positions, ladies and gentlemen, uncontrollably. And it is not that you, it, it is not that you are being possessed. It's that this energy is waking up your body and your body is doing what it needs to do so that you can, don't get in the way of the Kundalini rising. Hope that makes sense. In the same way that you can't control your heartbeat, you can't control, uh, you, you, you don't control the metabolic processes in your body. You don't even control your breathing. Something breathes you. Something is constantly keeping you alive. You have no clue how your liver works. You have no clue how it, you know, your heart pumps blood. It just does it for you. But for some reason, even though people understand that basic truth, when the Kundalini moves through their system, people's system and it starts taking over their body, and starts doing things uncontrollably and you can't stop it, people seem to think that that's demonic possession. Well, is it demonic possession that your, 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 your body breathes naturally? You're not in control of every breath. You're not in control of how your thyroid works. There is an underlying current of energy that is keeping you alive, ladies and gentlemen. Kundalini is our way out of this system. It purges, it detoxifies, it uplifts, but it also destroys. And this is why so many people, especially people programmed by mainstream Christianity, have a problem with this. Not only is it riddled with serpent symbolism, and most programmed people think the serpent is evil, but it causes you to confront things that mainstream religion allows you to just put into the hands of God. Just put it in the hands of God. All you've got to do is have faith in Jesus. All you've got to do is have faith in this, that, and the other. Everything else will be taken care of. Mainstream religion has promised you a free and easy ticket to the pearly gates, but it never inspires you for the most part to integrate the principles of the true living Jesus Christ that is contained within you to change and to be that which you're reading about, ladies and gentlemen. What's more potent? What, more, what would a God actually want? For you to just read the dead scriptures of, of old pages of books? And to just, oh, I put everything into the hands of Jesus. Or that God want you to be a good person, to be like Jesus, to be like any of these glorified deities that represent, you know, the Kundalini rising, like Perseus, you name it. You see, a lot of people just stop their religious path with, with, main, with their holy books. I read my Bible, I stay faithful. It's like, no, we have to take into... If we want to truly be religious individuals, ladies and gentlemen, you don't just get to read, you just don't, you don't just have to read it, you have to live it. Only through living it does the true book of life, the true living Bible, the true holy book wake up, which is your body, your mind, which is the literal flesh library, the housing of your spirit. But right now, they've got you thinking that that holy book is more divine than your own body, even though your body is made in the image of the Creator. It is a living miracle. You cannot reproduce a human body. Well, you can, but I'm talking about scientists just can't go in a lab and put some potions together and make a body. It is a miracle of life. It is worth more than the most precious gems in the deepest caverns of the earth. But mainstream religion has got you believing that that book that you read is more divine than you, that that's the way out. No, your body is the living library of the true living God, ladies and gentlemen, the monad. The, true, the tree of life contained within you, that's your way out. That is the true living book of Christ. Yes, we can use, I don't even want to get into that, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. I'm just amazed at how misled people have been by, by religion. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to mind control here, ladies and gentlemen. Mainstream religion has got you looking outside of yourself to find something that isn't there. The true book of life has to be opened in order for you to come to know God. It's called your body. It's insane. I wanted to personally thank you for watching my videos and contributing to the growth of my channel. I could not do this without you, and your interest in my content is truly what motivates me and fuels my passion for making these videos and spreading my message. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to remind you 
that this channel is a free educational tool that is listener supported. And if you would like to donate to my channel and donate to my cause, help make my life a little bit easier and help keep the lights on around here, you can do so by checking out the links in the description box below. There's a handful of not only ways to donate to my channel, but I also have links to different websites and different videos of mine, as well as my Amazon store, where you can check out a handful, a plethora of different health-related products that I use and recommend. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your continued interest in my message. And until next time, peace be with you all.